everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are working on, oops, I think that's in my frame. We are working on Mona Me page six. As soon as I get my wire out of the way. There we go. Page six. Okay, so we've got a couple of things going on here. So we are going to use some side strips, and these are from the 12 by 12 DCE. They're going to go left and right. Mm, is that right? I gotta think. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then we've got these two large flaps. Sorry, I'm doing my sorting. I should have done that first. This is my left. We have a six and a half by eight inch flap, six and a half by eight inch, and you're gonna score it a half inch. And then on the right side, this is ten and a half by eight, ten and a half by eight. You're gonna score it half inch and five and a half, and it's gonna get installed just like so. So the last thing is the pocket, which is six inches by nine, six inches by nine. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides to form a pocket. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the pocket. So the pocket is gonna go flush with the edge of the large pocket, the page. So let's get that installed. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I don't even know why. So again, starting with our pocket, which is six by nine. I taped this out of order, so I'm having trouble getting it off. I'm used to it going one way, but I made some changes. Well, I changed my mind a couple times. Let me get that to lay down flat. Okay. So again, let me think about this. This is page six, and it's going to open that way. Yeah, that's what I want. It's going to go flush, as I said before. There we go. Okay, now the left-hand pocket is gonna go on top of the left-hand pocket. The left-hand flap is gonna go on top of the pocket and we're gonna inset it a half an inch, like so. So before we do that, let's go ahead and glue our strip down. Again, this came from the 12 by 12. So what I was trying to do is make my pocket go all the way through, but then have an inset on both of my flaps. Just so there's no interference with the, um, the spine or the other page. It's, that seems to be, uh, I find that to be a larger concern when I'm going to the larger format. I don't seem to have as many issues with um, page to page interference concerns when I'm in the eight by eight form. Whoops, that needs to be trimmed just a little bit more. I thought I dry fit it before, but I think that'll do it. And I think my ink is gonna stay wet long enough to apply it. Nope, it still needs a little more. I'll check my other one before I even start because there's gonna be one on this side. Oops, ink. Now I'm laying it this way on purpose because that cream is gonna be slightly under the flap. Yeah, that's just perfect. Okay, so now we've got our pocket. We've got the trim on this side. We're gonna do the same thing over here and I'm gonna trim it before we get started. This one, for some reason it's just a little bit shorter so it is I could take a little off but not much Let's see it's funny oh, I need to take all the cream off
Okay, well, need some glue. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is install left flap. And just to remind you, it is six by eight, square half inch on the six inch side. Okay, that looks good. So that is six by eight, half inch on the six inch side. Now this is our 10 and a half, 10 and a half by eight inches tall. You're gonna score a half inch and five and a half. Fold it in half, we're gonna install it this way so that the score line at five and a half is going to be facing the inside of the page. Oh, that's why I didn't get my strip in straight. It needs to be up a little, and that's why it doesn't look even. So I'm going to go from this side. If the cream is exposed, it has to be exact, but if you're going over the black, it's okay because there's a lot to distract you from the line. That didn't go in very straight at all. I'll try again. Luckily, I didn't press too hard. I think one of the issues is it's just, no, it's not. I was gonna say, I thought one of the issues was it's just wider than the pocket page, but it's not. So the way it's going to close is the, um, the the single flap, and I'll call this the bifold flap, is going to close over the top. So we've got that, we've got that. So the last piece, we've got our pocket, we've got our two flaps. The last piece is going to be this seven and three quarter by five and three quarter photo mat. It's going to get attached to the bifold flap so that when you open this it will carry it will carry this extension with it now i'm not ready to put it down because i need to get paper on this side and this side before we glue it down and also paper on this side so i'm going to set that aside for the moment we're going to go ahead and get started on the cover so the bifold flap is going to have this polka dot pattern which is from the 12 by 12 collection and I have to think about that for a second. I want to put this down first because we're going to put um, a decorative piece on top of it and it's what's going to have the, map, the uh, magnet. This is also from the 12 by 12 and I think this is right side up. Yeah. It's hard before I get the magnets and everything's popping around. So 
sorry, I can't see the edge very clearly. Okay, so that goes there. We're going to add these two elements like so. Let's need to think about that. So this is four by four, and this is a three by four um, matted ephemera. And we're just gonna put them at an angle like so. And this happened to just be a, a piece of scrap. I thought it made it more interesting. <sighs> so I, I like, so I'm coming across about two thirds. <clears throat> so we need glue over here and we need a designer paper here. <clears throat> and then we'll need to do the same thing here. And this one, so glue and DP. Okay, so let's let's do some of the red. I'm gonna dig through my stash and try to use a scrap, not cut into a main piece if I don't have to. So for this part, I'm going to use this. So I'm going to trim it to fit. Make sure I'm doing it right side up. Get my down. If I can get it open. So this is wider than it needs to be, but that's okay. As long as it's wide enough. Did I do that right? Nope, I almost did it wrong. So design paper goes on this side. Okay, we've got glue on this side. So here we need DP and I want something contrast. Thought of something. This is where this is where I want my magnet. <laughs> then we'll add the designer paper. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and glue these two together. This is really about, you know, preference. This is just what I thought looked good. Now, if you want, you could have put your magnet behind this one. It has to be behind one of the two of these. Okay, now this is going to lay down like so. And I've got my magnet here, so I need to make sure it's over far enough that um, it can reach the magnet on this side. There we go. I think that's just about right. So we'll glue this down and then we'll locate the other magnet. I'm putting a generous amount of glue because people will be tugging on this to open and close the flap. There we go. Okay. So now as you can see, there's a spring in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a magnet here as well. There's a lot going on in this page, but I think it's really pretty and a lot of room for photos. So I wanna get these down just in case having these two magnets in place slightly need, makes me need to adjust this one because it'll be laying flatter. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but that was a heavy sigh from my dog. It's like, oh, it's so hard to be me. I hope everybody's doing good. We're having beautiful weather here in San Diego. My husband just got back from a business trip. So that's nice. I had a kind of an empty house for a little while, and that's nice too, but I was ready for him to come home. Yep. I think that feels pretty good. Okay. So when you open this, it's going to open first like this. Then you've got this flap that opens with lots of photo space storage and then it opens again and then again there'll be this extension here so I'm liking it okay so that's just scrap so this can go ahead we can go ahead and lay this in that's good put these scraps up since we're not going to use them going to do a little bit of housekeeping and line up the materials for the inside and do some dry fitting while I'm off camera and I'll be back shortly so that we can continue 
with page six. We're gonna have a nice big insert here. Okay, be back shortly. Okay, I'm back and I've got everything, I think, pretty organized, inked and dry fit. So on the left side, on the left lap, we're gonna use this, this dark rose pattern. That's the flip side. This is from the 12 by 12. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oops. Okay, and then the I Love You is going to be the pocket cover. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. And then the pocket back or pocket liner is going to be this image, which is from the 12 by 12. And we're going to reintroduce this pattern here on the right hand side. hinge area and we look okay so there you go so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take that five and three quarter by seven and three quarter photo mat and prep it so you're going to need one full size designer paper for one side and then a partial on the back side I got that upside down. So I draw drew some pencil lines because I'm actually only going to glue this down on three sides. And then this is going to be a pocket. So this is where your designer paper is going to go, right here. And then once we get the designer paper in, we can glue it down. <clears throat> So that's in. So now I'm going to put a bead of glue on these three sides. And then it's going to lay in centered. Looks like I might need a little bit more glue. So it's gonna come up on the pattern just a little. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see if that looks pretty straight. It certainly does. Okay. Okay, now because I've only glued three sides down, this becomes a little pocket. Okay, and then when you open it, it comes open like this. Make sure I got that down. <clears throat> and then this whole side will have some designer paper on it, like so. <clears throat> When it's all the way open, it's really wide. <clears throat> this is from the 8x8 collection pack. end of page six. Well, not really. I need to put an insert in here. So I'm just going to stash a couple of things in here to, to hold this space. When I get done with the rest of the album, I'll come back with what I my leftovers are and we'll put something in this pocket. And this pocket can be, our insert can be, <clears throat> I have to get my ruler the right way. <clears throat> like nine by seven, so a nice large photo mat. So this holds a, a five by seven. You can put three by threes here. So lots of room, and then of course this space for a photo here, and then large uh, photo mat in, inside the uh, pocket. Okay, so it close like so. Just making sure it's stuck all the way, and it is. Oh, we still have these two. Oh my gosh, there's so much space in this page. <laughs> so there we go. So now I got to work on that. So, oops, this goes first. I'll come back with uh, some paper for that. Okay, here we go, finally. <laughs> this will be the end. So I'm reintroducing this pattern. And again, this is on the inside of this. And then reintroducing this pattern. I am going to color block on this side. And this will be a solid piece on this side. I'm having a hard time seeing my edges today. Probably need to clean my glasses. I can't think we're ready to ink this one. I often have two of these at a time I take into dating them, so I keep track of which one is most moist. If I'm uh, inking the edge of a lighter colored pattern, I like to use the one that's a little bit drier so I don't overdo it. <clears throat> okay, one last time. Okay, we're good. <coughs> Pardon me. Um. <clears throat> I just got a really dry sensation in my throat. <clears> throat. And naturally, there's no water in my room, which is rare. I almost always have water with me. Okay. Okay. And this is going to color block right there, and it's just an extension of the pattern. Checking it. Looks good. Get some ink on it. <clears throat> All righty. The never-ending page is almost over. It's a lot of fun, though. I like these pages. It's like you have pages in a page. So even though it's a four-page mini album, it feels much bigger when you do, you know, sort of big 
um, one, larger in size, and then second, just lots of flaps. You know, really make it feel a lot bigger. <clears throat> Did I do that wrong? <clears throat> I think I did it wrong. I can't get it. It's too too dry. I think it was supposed to go the other way around. <laughs> the pattern's slightly askew. It's it's not very obvious, but I can see it now. This tip belongs over over here. Well, live and learn, live and learn. Should have checked before I did it, just like I should dry check again here. I should have done that before I took the tape off. That's good. <clears throat> okay, well, this was a fun page. So page seven is going to be a little bit less complex. Um, just to lighten the load between the two sides. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So one more time, since there is so much here, there is our closed position. We open to the left first. Then we've got this nice large flap with lots of room for photos and a stash. And then we photos on both sides. Then we pick it up and pull it open and more photos. And a nice large Location for a five by seven with a three quarter inch, <coughs> five by seven, yeah, three quarter inch uh, border around it. There we go. That is page six. On to page seven.